Man, what's happening, YouTube? Welcome to a brand new episode of Madden 19 Ultimate Team. First things first, I hope you guys are all having a good day. As I like to start off every single episode, we're going to take a look at our offense and our defense. You guys are seeing how stacked this team truly is now we are coming off of a super bowl win but you guys are probably like wait a minute Ansel, how do you already have three wins in this fresh new season well a few days ago i did a most feared squad builder and if you missed that video it will be down in the description make sure you guys check it out obviously that video wasn't part of this series but that is how we got three wins online now today to start things off i decided to go ahead and open up some legendary fantasy packs in total we got 16 of them now as of late i gotta keep it real with you guys my pack luck has been straight booty juice so hopefully today things can turn around oh look at this look at this we get a flashback lamar miller back when he used to play for the miami dolphins now look, I don't know if that thing goes for a lot, but I'll take it as we finish things off with an 87 Ed Reed. That will be my selection moving forward. We're going to jump into another pack. Here is round three. We get not only Tony Gonzalez, but also Russell Wilson. Now, maybe I should have picked up Tony, but I decided to go ahead and scoop up Russell. Jumping into round number three of this pack as well. We get a Richard Sherman now. Okay, this bundle has been on fire. Again, we're jumping into round three. Look at his reveal. At first, I was like, wait a minute. What is this card? Not the card, but I meant what is this reveal? But it turned out to be a heavyweight. We are officially down to the final. Legendary fantasy pack, of course. We also have the bundle topper. So here we go. Let's close it out strong. And round number one, we get a bunch of golds. Let's go ahead and pick those up. Round number two. Let's get one elite out of this. No, we don't. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Full legend. And we got DeAndre Hopkins in this. My selection is a no-brainer. I'm going to go ahead and scoop up the big boy, Eddie George. Now, I was kind of disappointed because he only goes for 270,000 coins. That's kind of disgusting. I thought he was going to go for a lot more. But here we go. The bundle topper. We're guaranteed an 86 plus. We get John Randall. Let's go, man. That is not bad whatsoever. And of course, if you guys have been enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, down in the description is a link to the full playlist. So you guys can check out any episode that you have missed. Here we go. We're going to make our first move of the day. That is at the right end spot. Melvin Ingram, his time on our team has come to an end. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the boy himself, Aaron Donald. Just an absolute stud. What else can I say about this? He is definitely going to improve this defensive line by a lot. Next up, the most recent team of the week player that they dropped includes James Conner, Daniel Hunter, and Adrian I'm not going to attempt to say his last name because I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to butcher it. Is it Amos? Now, you guys are seeing his stats. Wow, this is an incredible card. Going for about 600,000 coins. Now, the first thing that I decided to do was complete the James Conner set. He will be coming to our team. He's having an incredible season with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's bring him to our team. I'm going to go ahead and take out Alvin Kamara. He's not being cut. But Leonard Fournette is being released from our team. So what I'm going to do is plug in Alvin Kamara at the running back number two spot. And then of course, our starter will be James Conner himself. Let's go ahead and switch on over to the defense. Ed Reed, man. I absolutely love pairing him up with Sean Taylor, but that is duo has come to an end instead i will be bringing adrian to our team this card i even went ahead and fully powered him up added the footstep chemistry guys take a look at these stats unreal straight up beast
That is it for the defense. Now, over on the offensive side of things, guys, trust me, soon, maybe in the next episode, I will be making wide receiver changes. But for today, Daryl Williams, our right tackle, he is being cut. To replace him, I will be bringing in Willie Anderson because I noticed in the comment section that you guys did want me to improve the offensive line. So that is just a slight little adjustment that I'll be making. Next up, this move is kind of unnecessary because Zach Ertz has been a baller on our team. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up Jordan Reed instead. They recently dropped this card. And I'm just seeing that speed, the catching. And I'm like, you know what? We need to bring him to our team. 775,000 coins. And that will wrap up today's moves. I got three games for you guys. So let's go ahead, not waste any time, and jump right into them. Oh, let's see his team. Okay, Brian Dawkins, Ricky, Fletcher Cox, pause that. Here's our top three. We got Night Train Lane, Deion Jones, and Adrian Amos. Now, that dude, you guys know he had a breakout year with the Chicago Bears. So, of course, today he's going to definitely improve our defense as we start things off by getting an interception with Deion Jones here. Now, I even decided to rock the Chicago Bears colorway once again. Cam Newton connecting with Steve Smith. Now, unfortunately, this might be the last time that we do have Steve Smith on our team. I need your suggestion, guys. I really do. Like, comment below and let me know as we take a shot deep to our newly acquired tight end. But like I said, make sure you guys comment below and let me know what we should do with our wide receiver core. I think the only one safe is Calvin Johnson for now. And maybe Odell. Because honestly, I don't want to get rid of that card. But at the same time, he's been on our team for a while. So make sure, like I said, you guys let me know and comment below on what I should do next. So as you guys see, he did try to go for the two-point conversion to tie the game up there. He did not get it. So still a two-point game. James Conner, big boy James Conner, get off of him. He is too small for these defenders. Yo, both of our offensive additions today has been having an incredible debut. And look at this. Interception number three for the man himself, Deion Jones. What an impact he's had for us. The score is 12 to 21. Cam Newton going to James Conner once again, who cuts to the middle of the field and picks up a lot right there. We end up being at the 26-yard line. He's bringing a blitz. And look at this, a wide open. Ed Reed. Or should I say Jordan Reed? My oh my. Did I just call him Ed Reed? Jordan was an island of his own. And as you guys see, the game got paused and our opponent has had enough. So week number four, we walk out victorious, 27 to 12. Let's go ahead and jump into week number five. We got the same top three. Man, this thing is intimidating. If I was going up against the team, I'd be shook. His top three, hold on now. He has a nasty team. But once again, Jordan Reed with a strong start here. We're going to go ahead and hand the ball off to James. Oh, my God. Once again, breaks a tackle and scores a touchdown. My opponent has Cowboys jerseys, but he has Donovan McNabb as his quarterback. Okay, that's interesting. And McNabb, on his first pass, throws a pick. Dude, that's like Deion Jones' fourth interception of the episode. Here we go, first and ten. Look at this. Come on, bruh. That is so frustrating. We had Jordan Reed wide open, but of course Cam Newton overthrew him. Unfortunately, on that drive, I had to settle for a field goal, and I was so pissed, guys. Like, I feel like I would have just completely had the momentum, and look at the type of catches my opponent was making on this drive. Right here, I thought Amos was about to have a pick, and again, a big-time catch for my opponent, and to close out the drive, Tyreek Hill finds the end zone. Start off second half, it's still a 10-7 game and my opponent has the ball here first. Come on, man. Jump and make the interception. Luckily for us, we do strip Jimmy Graham. But unfortunately, we're taking over at the one-yard line. I can't see anything. 
I threw it straight into the hands of my opponent, man. I gotta give it to him. His user game was strong. I came out here and responded quickly. We take the lead once again. But I'm not gonna lie, right now, I need to tighten up on defense. But look at this coverage by Amos. I know that's not his fault, but what is this game making him do? Why would he follow the tight end? I had him in a deep blue. Is that my fault or did I do something? Why is my safety doing that, bro? That happens to me nonstop and I wasn't even using him. Like I need my safeties to stay in the back. Look at this once again. We're down by four and the pressure is on. 18 seconds left. Second and six. Cam Newton fits it right into the money. Odell Beckham gives us the lead. We just gotta lock up. One stop is all we need. I mean, look at this dude. There's only 13 seconds left. Hold on now. Dion. Oh God. No! Get Dion! Oh my God, I'm sick to my stomach. He has enough time to tie this game up. The kick is up and it is good. Guys, you don't understand. You don't understand how disgusted I am right now. Let's stay focused, second and seven. Oh my God, that was so dangerous. Third and goal, we're at the one. I had two receivers wide open, but I had a brain fart. Oh my God, that was completely my fault. That was dumber than a bucket of shrimp. And because of my frustration, I brought an all out blitz here and he had a wide open receiver. We just made us look so silly on that play. So a walk-up touchdown by my opponent, and I gotta give it to him, man. That was a well respectable win. He had a really good usering skill, but I'm not gonna lie, at the end there, I just had a brain fart. I have no excuses for that. That was completely my fault. I had two open receivers, and I threw it to the guy that had like two defenders on him. So in week five, we do catch an L, the first L of the season. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into week number six. And hopefully we can redeem ourselves. But once again, oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna cuss. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a table, I'm gonna cuss. If that happens again, like it's getting so frustrating. And I know maybe I shouldn't, you know, do a bullet pass. But come on now, like, we should not be missing wide open throws. Luckily, right here on a halfback wheel, once again we do connect with Odell Beckham as we take the lead. After my opponent got a field goal, here we are taking over with a four-point lead. Oh, look at this. Wide open is Steve Smith. Yo, man, that has to stop. That has to stop. If it's wide open, they have to give us some sort of an animation. Like the receiver has to do something. Fly to the ball. Do anything. Right here. Jordan Reed. He gets tackled into the end zone. Let's go. Yo, Jordan Reed has had a really good episode so far. But here we go. My opponent taking over with Ricky Williams right here. I'm not going to lie. So far today, we have shut him down. Russell dropping back. That was a beautiful throw. I'll give it to him. He's still in this game. I can't get too comfortable. Russell with all sorts of time. Give me that boy. Yo, what a user play by me. Bring out the red carpet. That was a sick interception by Lawrence Taylor. And just like that, here in week number six, the game gets paused. And you guys know what's coming. Our opponent has had enough. So now we have improved to a record of five and one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you also enjoyed all the moves that I made. Like I said, comment below and let me know what I should do next. What receiver should I bring in? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Continue being amazing people. I am signing out.